Hey guys, welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Today we have a video about a wood fire that I did in North Carolina. So wood firing is this crazy, fun, cool way to finish pots and it's been around forever, right? Like way back ancient times, that's how they used to make pottery. And so I went to North Carolina last year and fired with Matthew Kelly and I made a, like a 30 or 40 minute video about that process. But today I wanted to give you like the really succinct version so you can see the actual steps of wood firing because we are going to wood fire this week with uh, another potter closer than North Carolina. So it's only like an hour away from me. So I'm gonna make a video about that one, but in preparation, I was looking through the old footage and I thought this would be a really cool video to get down to like, what are the actual steps for wood firing? So enjoy this edited down version of the North Carolina trip. Check out the full video if you wanna see all the details, but this one will get you uh, super pumped about wood firing like I am. All right, here we go. All right, we made it to North Carolina. We're here. Woo! Glazing pots. And <laughs> How many hours do you think it takes to load this whole thing? It normally takes like two eight hour days of loading. <laughs> These are all my mugs, aren't they? Yeah. Let's hope this is a good shelf. My pot going in. You can all right, look at the bottom. All right, how's it feel to be loaded? Feels amazing. Super stressful until this point, then it's just a sigh of relief. So good. if you kind of like take it and smear up like this. Yeah. Nice. Woo. Nice. There we go. To start the kiln, making the fire. Oh, here we go. Fire. Woo! Someone was there all night last night, kind of just stoking it a little bit, and then today we start ramping it up. Let's do it! By noon, you're supposed to be at a thousand. so that we could start working on that reduction atmosphere. And so that's gonna help retain a little bit more of the heat in the, in the wear chamber versus just sucking it all through into the, in, out the chimney. And also it starts that reduction atmosphere which helps color the clay body. Oh yeah, there you go. Holy hotness. So yeah, you can see that cone way back in there, it's bent already. Feel it on my ears. There you go. Oh, my. 
my gosh. Look at this, look at this right now. Look at the flame coming out of, oh, can you even see it? But, so right now it should be almost at top temperature and then we're gonna hold it at the top temperature for four or five hours. There's been so many people helping out with this and that's one of the most fun things about a wood kiln is it's like this whole community thing. You can't do it on your own, you need other people. And so you, you have this wood kiln that's huge so you have other people, room for other people's pots. How was the night then? Yeah. So how often right now are you stoking it? Uh, probably every... Two, no, probably three minutes. 2200 and 2260. All the phones are right down. There he is. Ooh. It's early. Eight. That's going down there. Oh, yeah. Now it's piping out of there. We've reached the top temperature we're gonna reach. So now we're gonna blow salt in here. It's helping with this all the time. All right, we are at the tail end now. After the salt goes in, fire it an hour more, and then it's done. Yeah, we're pretty much at the very end of firing. John just put the last stoke of wood in the kiln because we fired for an hour after putting the salt in the kiln and let it cool slower from then on. Now we can actually see the pots because there's not giant amounts of flame in front of it. And they all look great, hopefully. So everything's open right now so that we can fast cool it. All right, it's all sealed up. Three days we'll be back to unload it. It's at 1500 degrees right now, so basically we're cooling it as slow as possible. It's, uh, man, it's, well, you don't know what to expect. That's one of the great things about wood firing is it's like, you just, I mean, you have some idea, but, um, There'll be a lot of variation. There's a couple, yeah, John reached in yesterday. I'm super impatient, so I reached in and pulled these out, and it, these are crazy. You cannot get results like this in an electric kiln, or probably a gas kiln either. I don't remember how I glazed it. You, actually this, well. <laughs> oh, these looks really good. So these are two, these are two of mine. It's just it's so interesting. Like sometimes you can pull out a piece and you're kinda like, Oh, like it's brown, you know, but then like it's just there's so much depth and interest to it of these carved mugs back here that I'm Ooh. super excited about. Isn't that? So Whoa. I put a wad here and I put it up against the post so that we would get that oh, little effect right there. That. One of these is going to stay here with me. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have a hard time deciding which one I want. Cheers. <laughs> <Don't yeah. blink. laughs> but then this doesn't look like my ash glaze, so I don't know. What is around there? Could just be on a different clay, maybe? Yeah, like, that's probably what it is. This is the fire. So you, Matthew, take that out of the kiln. It's nice. All the mugs on this shelf are mine. All right, everyone, we're clear to touch John's mugs. <laughs> <laughs> These turned out sweet. I like that matte iron. Yeah, so these are much. sweet. Very cool. As well, little swirly guys. So this is, I'm sure, is Mako. John definitely earned. John has definitely earned his space in the kiln. 
Well, I'm very happy so far. Nothing's like, I guess that one dripped over there a little bit, but maybe. yep, I bet that's Norse blue. Really cool. Down, but I've never had a dot inside of the dot depending on the clay it's on it'll turn purple This is so I use this white bee clay with grog that from continental clay. That looks really good, too That's amazing the difference that clay makes Big old glass beads that were in this ah uh, After they had been bisque so this is lavender mist in a wood kiln. Those are actually quite Brilliant What are your thoughts so far looks pretty amazing? I'm happy we got it all unloaded what is that, 11.30 right now? So I was like, maybe two and a half hours. Yeah, it was definitely a great firing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out this video in a couple weeks for the wood fire that I'm doing in Minnesota. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be a little different because it's gonna be freezing cold, not, not like North Carolina where it's uh, nice weather all the time. So, all right, see you guys in the next video. Next sale is gonna be March 6th, 2022. Unfortunately, I will have some wood fire pots, not the ones you saw in this video though, but I will have some. So, all right, see ya.